Hi hi, welcome back to a new video. I'm Carlo van Andel. So the thing is, I am turning 20 in a month, okay? March 8 is my birthday and I will be turning 20. I'm not really sure how to feel about that. In a way, I feel very old because like my childhood and my teenage years are over. But on the other hand, I also feel like I'm still very young. I still have so much more to do and to experience. But apart from all of that, I've decided to host a little high tea for my friends and I. And I thought it would be fun to make some mugs and some plates that are all matching and in the team. I think I'm going to make everything in pastel, pastel colors. And I will also be making some cake stands because I will be baking some cakes. And maybe I will also bake some cookies and then maybe make like a plate or a bowl for some cookies or something. I still need to think everything out. But I just like to just, you know, start and go with the flow. Right now, I'm not going to immediately start off with making the most, but I'm first going to pack some orders. If you haven't already seen it, I made a video about all of these different packing materials in... Uh, it's actually the previous video, the video I uploaded before this video. Uh, but I just quickly want to show you how I've set it up so that I can pack it quite quickly. Yeah, it's actually not even that interesting, but I just put everything on my table from left to right and it's also in the order that it has to be packed. I just can grab a mug, I roll it into this paper, then I roll it into this paper <laughs> and then I roll this paper around it and then I put it inside a box and then I also have my big bag of chips here that I then put inside of the box and then I just tape it and it's all ready to be shipped. It's working really great. Some of the orders from the shop dates have already been received by uh, the people that bought something and they received it all well and in one piece so that is great so the paper is safe enough to ship anywhere so i'm very happy with that oh and don't mind my christmas decoration in the back i know i need to take it down well i haven't really gotten around to doing it yet and i'm not sure what else i want to hang in that spot also maybe i need to take it down my christmas lights but i'm not sure what else to hang because if i take them away it's a little bit empty but like maybe with my birthday i will just hang up some uh Slingers, Google. Het leven is een feestje, maar je moet zelf de slingers ophangen. Slingers. Garlands. Garlands. Birthday garlands. I'm not sure. Like the little triangle pieces of paper or plastic or fabric in a row. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just hang those for my birthday. That is indeed a good idea. But without any further ado, let me just get started with packing this and get them to the post office as soon as possible. <laughs> I want to show you my new business cards. The letters like of my name are shiny, so I love that. And on the back, I just have my website. I first had all of my information, like all of my Instagram and everything on the card, but I changed my Instagram name, so that's why I wanted to change it. And I thought it would be nice to just leave it a little bit more minimalistic this time. And then I also always use these cards to write a little message for when someone has bought it. And then I put it in the box with an order, just like as a thank you note. Hi, hi, hi. Is that a bit scary? Can you Is that the echter? I think it's. I've now packed everything and brought it to the post office, so everything is on their way. And I'm now going to work on my little collection for my high tea. And I'm going to start off with the mugs. But first, before I start throwing, I of course have to wedge all of the clay. So I'm going to do that now. I always wedge my clay on top of this plaster bed. I really like to wedge on plaster because the clay doesn't stick to it and yeah, it just works great for me. You can also just wedge on wood or something. I never wedge on top of the tiles uh, of the counter because the clay just sticks to it and that's not very handy. <laughs> The clay that I'm going to use is not the clay that I always use. I always use the same white stoneware clay. I just use that for everything. But for this little collection, I'm going to use 930-930 from Gurk und Schneider. Gurk und Schneider, I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly. And it has speckles, speckles, speckles in it. So like little dark dots that you see after it's been fired. I thought it would just give like a nice effect to it <laughs> and yeah i think the speckles will look really cute and i just want everything to look cute and like a little bit like spring vibes and i think it will just go well with that 
When I'm working on a set, I always like to weigh my clay so that I know how much clay I'm using and I want to use the same amount of clay for every piece that I'm making. That is actually the only thing that I'm going to measure. I'm not going to measure the height or the wideness because I don't really like measuring while I'm working. I just prefer to just go with the flow, just make them all a little bit different because if I want them all to be the same, I would work with molds and I don't really like to work with molds. I prefer to throw everything so then I'm just not going to measure it because I don't enjoy that and especially if I'm making a set for myself it really doesn't have to be the same for me it's a little bit warm in here I'm sweating I am sweating I think I'm going to make the mugs not too big because I think it's just nicer if people can like drink multiple cups of tea instead of having one big mug of tea so I think this is too much I think I'm just going to make them small I think that's really cute is it? Like little teacups are cuter than big mugs, right? Yes, I'm going to use 320 grams of clay for every mug. So they're going to be small mugs, but I think they will look nice in the end. I'm making 10 pieces. Uh, I'm not sure how many people are going to come to my party because I don't know if everyone that I invite comes. Uh, but it's also possible that some people will take a plus one with them. And I, of course, want to have enough mugs for everyone so i'm making 10 pieces i think that i will be just fine i'd rather make too many than not have enough we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. what 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. i i took 11 pieces when i wedge the clay i press the clay a little bit forward and i flatten it a bit and then i bring it back up and then i just push it again and that's basically what I do. It can be a little bit hard to learn when you do it for the first time because it's a bit of a weird movement. But I basically press my hands towards the shoulder while pressing forwards. And I do it like 10 times or something. I'm not sure I never really count it. Sometimes I do it more often depending on how hard the clay is. Then I roll it up. Then I flatten it a bit. And then I do it towards the other way. So I just do this side and then do it on the other side if that makes sense. <laughs> and then I just make it into a ball. Okay, it's finally time to throw, so here I go. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> but the thing is, I was thinking about maybe making like a whole new design for this little collection. But yeah, I'm kind of just happy with the shape that I always make, so I thought it's just you know, make that. I've thought about it, I thought maybe I want to make something completely different, but I'm just going to stick with the shape that I always make. So a little bit rounded at the bottom, then a little bit smaller, going to the top and then going outwards again. So like whoop. If that makes sense. <laughs> With the handles, I will make a little girl at the bottom. I haven't done that in quite a while. Yeah, it's like a little bit different than normal and it's also quite cute. Like a little girl is quite cute and I want everything to be cute. Cute, cute, cute. So that's what I'm going to do. But first I'm just going to throw everything and then it has to dry for a day. So tomorrow I will be able to trim them and make handles. For now, it's just a little throwing session. So here we go. <laughs> This one is now done and I'm quite happy with how the shape turned out. Didn't really expect otherwise, but it went quite quickly so that's nice. And yeah, the clay almost throws the exact same as the clay that I normally use. I actually think that it is the same clay but then just with the speckles, speckles in it. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. And yeah, I'm now just going to move on to the next one and to the next one and to the next one and make all 10 of them. <laughs> 
Here's a little instruction on how I like to throw my mugs. I first attach the clay to the bat with some water and then I start centering it. Centering means that you press the clay towards the middle of the bat and I do this by coating it up and pressing it down. You can repeat this multiple times until the clay is fully centered. Then I open up the clay by pressing my middle finger into the middle of the clay and I pull outwards. I do this in a horizontal movement so that the bottom is nice and flat. And if you'd like you can go over it with a sponge to smooth it out. Then I start pulling up the balls. I do this with a sponge in my right hand and I press towards my left hand on the inside while making an upwards movement. I repeat this multiple times so that the clay gets thinner and the walls get higher and as you can see I start making a cylinder. While pulling up the clay I like to hold the thumb of my left hand on top of my right hand so that it's easy for me to move both of my hands at the same time. If the cylinder becomes a little bit too wide I like to hold both of my hands around it and press the clay a little bit more to the middle. Then when the clay is nice and thin and I have the height that I want I start slowly shaping the mug and I do this by pressing the clay outwards at the part where I want it to be a little bit wider so as you can see at the bottom I just press it outwards a bit and at the top I also pull it outwards. Then when I'm happy with the shape and the mug is almost finished I go over it with a sponge to get rid of any water or slip. This makes it nice and smooth and also makes it dry a little bit faster. And then what I like to do is take this little piece of plastic and I hold this on top of the rim to make sure there are no sharp edges because otherwise it doesn't feel very comfortable to drink out of the mug. As you can see I made it line because I pressed a little bit too hard I just got rid of this by going over it with a sponge and I also had this line on the inside so I also got rid of that with a the sponge. Then I take this wooden knife and I cut away some extra clay from the bottom and then I also clean my bed with this. When the mug is finished and I take it off with my bed lifter and then I let it dry for a day. Here's a little closer look and as you can see the clay has speckles. <laughs> I've just thrown everything and I'm quite happy with how everything turned out so far. Some shapes I like better than others, but that's alright. <laughs> with some pots I do see a little bit more speckles than with others, so I'm quite excited to see if they will all turn out the same um, after they've been fired or if some might have just some more speckles on them. I'm not sure how that works, but we're going to find out. For now it just has to dry for a day and then tomorrow I'm going to trim them and attach handles to them. And then after that, I will start throwing the plates. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>